Hey, good morning. Wednesday, August 10th is the first day of school for students all throughout the Bay Area. That's a little over a week away. And of course, safety is top of mind for all of us, parents, students, schools and law enforcement. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into how law enforcement agencies all across the Bay Area are preparing to keep your kids safe. It's training they hope they never have to use. Pray that we never have to do it, but if it ever arises, we will not hesitate for, for a second. The Bartow Police Department is prepared for an active shooter situation if it were to happen. We go inside. We make sure that we, we neutralize that threat immediately. The police department conducting a two-day active shooter training at Bartow Middle School this week. The exercise, which also includes fire and EMS personnel, <laughs> is taking place at a school for the very first time and incorporating critical response in light of the mass shooting in Uvalde. We no longer wait to hear shots fired. We're actually going into the critical uh, phase of it, which is making the entry. Uh, I think it's less confusing for the men and women in law enforcement. The officers are presented with different active shooter scenarios and must determine how to respond and do so with speed and precision. So we try to make it as real as possible during these training events, get the stress levels up, get their heart rates up, get that tunnel vision going. Law enforcement across Tampa Bay are holding active shooter drills ahead of the new school year, including Hillsborough County SWAT team training school resource deputies this week. This is specifically for them to address an active shooter if they were in the school by themselves. For the first time, the Pinellas County School District is using the alert platform, which incorporates all the systems they already have in place. With school safety top of mind for many parents, officials are making sure they get it right. You can rest assured if you have a child in a school in the city of Barto, no stone will be left unturned when we're going to get in there. We're getting in there. And we're getting in there as quick as we can. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.